Welcome back to Preform Updates. My name is Henry. I am a software product manager for Preform. Let's talk about Preform 3.53. The first new feature is called the Measure Tool. This is found in the upper right hand corner of your viewport and allows you to quickly validate dimensions and clearances by measuring precise distances between any two points in your scene. To enter the measuring tool, just click the button and you'll notice a preview pin under your mouse. Click to place your first point and click again to place the second. Points can be placed within the same model or between different models in a build. To quickly switch between millimeters and inches, just click the toggle unit button over on the side panel. In that same side panel, you'll also notice that the X, Y, and Z components of that measurement line are broken down to help measure distances along the axes. These values can all be copied to your clipboard by clicking the copy button. Note that while placing either measurement points, you can hold down the shift key and your pin will snap to the nearest triangle vertex, making it easier to select corners and edges of your models. These points will stay on your models as you translate, rotate, or scale them, and the measurement will dynamically update live. This tool can be used to validate clearances between parts, minimum feature thicknesses. This can be used alongside the section and all axes feature from the last release to help you measure hard to reach areas of your models. The next feature, as you may have already noticed up here in your viewport, there is now a viewer cube. With this, you can navigate the scene and quickly jump to standard orthographic views. Next, we added model grouping for SLA. You can now organize parts in the model list by grouping them, similar to the behavior in the SLS workspace. We've also added a few more additional fields in the print settings editor. There are now new settings for squish modifications, which modifies the Formlabs smart squish algorithm, resin level sense, which controls the level at which the printer throws a low resin warning. This will also change the level that the printer keeps the tank filled at for Formlabs materials and resin viscosity, where you can import the viscosity of your resin. And that is every new feature in Preform 3.53. As always, please share your feedback through the feedback button, and I encourage you to start discussions around certain topics, feature requests, or questions on the Formlabs forums. Thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.